back here at Willow Springs International Raceway, one of my favorite places. The sounds of race cars are everywhere. The big tracks built up today and we are back at the streets of Willow to see what the modified track taxi Toyota Prius can do. You know, lower stiffer suspension, big aggressive wheel and tire package, and I've even gone as far as gutting the rear interior of this vehicle to get as much speed out of this thing as possible. All that's left now is to hit the racetrack. in the books uh, right away. The car is oh, the car is already fun in stock form because it's just such a different kind of driving experience on the racetrack, but with the big grippy tires and the coilovers and the aggressive alignment and all the changes I've made to the car, I mean, it's genuinely fun. And lap times, perhaps unsurprisingly, are much faster right out of the bat. Um, I only got five laps in. I'll talk more on that in a second, but that fifth lap ended up being a 139.5 five, which is a massive improvement over what the car is doing stock. Um, we ended up doing a, on the, when it was bonus stock, we did a 150, but that was a slightly different configuration. You can imagine it's like a one equivalent to like a 147, 146 ish. That's so right away a huge jump in performance There's a lot more left in it. Uh, the reason I only got five laps is because the Prius started misfiring, but only under hard left cornering. Uh, as soon as I straightened the car out, the check engine light would go off, but when it was cornering really hard to the left check engine light was flashed like a misfire. Uh, I got back in the paddock, no stored codes, which is kind of odd, the check engine light is off. Uh, I went and fueled the car up. I was only down to like, not even, not even have a tank, like five eighths of a tank, you know, just driving here. Uh, but I guess that's enough to fuel star of the car, I'm guessing. So uh, I'm gonna go fuel the car up, then we'll go do the session number two. Pace. And a little bit later, jump power, jump power, jump power. Come on. 
Come on, go, 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 Careful, careful, careful. Too much. I break too much. Damn it. Okay, pitch it in. Come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, I lost a lot of time. Okay, wow. Session number two. Uh it turns out the Prius was definitely fuel starving. With the car fully topped up, there was no more check engine light flashing, no more issues with the car pulling power. Uh, and lap times did improve as I kept kind of finding my rhythm more and more with the car. I'm starting to find kind of smaller areas where if I, you know, blow a braking zone or I mess up this or mess up that, I'm losing tenths. So I'm starting to kind of dial in the times. Uh, I'm also running into the issue of traffic. I got into a few hairy situations with people, you know, trying to make boneheaded passes or just sitting on my bumper or whatever it may be. Uh, it's always a predicament, you know, is the problem I have with the car stock is just the acceleration is so unbelievably slow that even though it corners quite well now, uh, you know, any cars are gonna catch me on the back straight or the front straight, which kind of causes these kind of weird traffic jams where I have to kind of like let off or do something stupid and kind of blow the lap. And so my, I did end up getting one good lap in there, ended up being a 139.1. So I knocked off over four tenths from the first session. And the data logger was showing a theoretical 138, but I did blow a braking zone, which is kind of annoying, but room for improvement. All right, session number three, let's do it. Session three ended up being a bit of a wash uh, between traffic and just making mistakes. I couldn't put together any clean laps. I ended up kind of just hovering around 139 to 140, lap after lap, after lap, after lap, after lap. But on the upside, the Prius seems to be handling everything in stride, you know, no issues so far. And so let's hopefully kind of tidy things up and shoot for a faster lap time. So there's definitely more in it.
made it back from Willow Springs with the car mostly intact. Uh, unfortunately, the very cool front splitter took a bit of a beating after hitting a very large bump in the road. Uh, that's very unfortunate. Oh well. With that out of the way, let's talk about what happened with the Prius. So my best lap time of the day was a 138.2, which is not amazingly fast. When you think about the fact it's a Prius doing that lap time, it becomes very, very impressive. Now for perspective, that's what, like over 12 seconds a lap faster than when the car was completely stock there, which is a huge improvement. And obviously it just kind of shows what basic bolt-on modifications can do and kind of show the potential of any car, even a Prius. I mean, it goes back to the point I made in the very first video where you don't need to have some kind of sports car, some kind of crazy performance car in general to go to the racetrack and have a good time. Even a beat up Prius taxi cab, as long as you do the maintenance to it and maybe do some fun modifications along the way, can do absolutely great on the racetrack. Picking up 12 seconds in a single lap is a huge improvement on the lap times. And that basically meant that I was no longer a rolling roadblock like I was before. I mean, originally the car was so slow that while it did the track day just fine, I was in the way of every single person out there. And the difference now is that people were in my way. The whole last session, I was still actually finding more time in the car. According to the AIM solo, I actually had a, a few low 137 laps in there, but every single time I hit traffic, people were in my way, which is crazy to think about. I mean, the cars that were in my way were two Miatas and a Honda S2000. It's crazy to think that those sports cars were now in my way, and I'm driving a Toyota Pro of all cars. I mean, it definitely made my ego feel good, even if I was quite upset the day of the fact that those guys were in my way, ruining my lap. I think the cool thing and the biggest improvement is definitely the tires. You know, the Bridgestone RE71Rs are a very aggressive 200 treadwear street tire, which are made for autocross and track days and things like that. You know, with a 245 wide front tire and a 215 rear, that's just a huge improvement in bolt-on grip to an otherwise more or less stock Prius. And with that much tire grip, you know, I basically don't have to brake that much uh, in a hot lap. So I can pretty much maintain as much speed as possible through the entirety of the lap. And if you notice, pretty much every time I did pass someone, it was in the braking zone because I was just not afraid to carry as much speed as possible through the corners thanks to these tires and the good alignment and to an extent the coilover suspension upgrade. And where do we go from here? Now, I think I've proven my point with the Prius. You can take any car, do some basic maintenance to it, make sure it's safe and go to a track day and have a lot of fun. I don't think there's too much more I can extract from this platform, at least on my budget. I've seen other YouTubers like Amelia Hartford, she did a K24 turbo swap into her Prius, and that's really cool, but with this little channel that I have, that's just not in the budget, as fun as that would be to try. Really, you can't really do too much as far as performance upgrades to the powertrain of this car. There's just not much left in it. That little 1.8 liter gas engine is kind of choked up from the factory. There isn't too much improvement you can be done there. And unless you're some sort of tuning wizard, there isn't much that can be extracted power wise from the hybrid electric system, especially on this super high mileage example, where I'm sure the battery is quite tired. That ended up being the big theme of the day was battery management because like I mentioned before, I had to pull the ABS fuse to get the traction and stability control system to turn off in this vehicle. And when you pull the ABS fuse, unfortunately, the brake regen system for the hybrid battery also turns off with it, which means keeping the hybrid battery charged up, which is about 30% of the overall power output of the Prius is very daunting. When the battery is low, this thing is almost dangerously slow. So if you notice, I was basically spending two laps kind of going kind of slow and trying to charge the battery up by coasting and then giving a crap with the hot lap, which obviously made it very frustrating when I'd catch traffic or hit slow cars. I have a clip of me actually doing a full like lap and a half up against a red Subaru WRX STI, and it was actually amazing. We were more or less running the same lap time, which is kind of embarrassing for them, but kind of cool for the Prius. And with all that said, I think it's the end of the road for this vehicle. I think I've done about as much as I can do with my budget, and I'm pretty happy with those results. I think it's time to put this thing back to stock, put it on the market, hopefully sell some of these modifications, maybe reuse these tires on a different project car you've seen on the channel before, and carry on with something else. 
Do you guys have any recommendations? Should I pick up a different platform? Do you like the Prius? Are you gonna miss seeing it on this channel? I do have some more clips, some more things I did film, kind of on the side, I wasn't sure whether I'd post them. Kind of let me know in the comments down below what you think about this car. It's definitely been a fun journey. Uh, hopefully, uh, I've done a ton of work to this car. A lot of stuff you haven't even seen on the camera. Hopefully, whoever does buy this vehicle does end up just driving the absolute wheels off of it because it should be good to go for a long, long time. And I think that's about all I got. It's the end of the road of this one. It's been a good journey. Yeah, I'm gonna miss this little car. In any case, my name is Jake Stump. You've been watching Drive, Break, Fix, Repeat. Thank you very much to those of you who stuck around for the entirety of this build challenge. It's been super fun to do. More fun things in the works besides the Prius, so please stay tuned for the next episode of Drive, Break, Fix, Repeat, where I go do more fun things with cars. Bye.